White flag is raised. They're off. 20 runners over two miles in the Guinness Galway hurdle. A relatively short run to the first of nine flights. The very man, one of the first to show in front from She Wears It Well. Santa Rosa jumps up. Fat out next on the inside of Jesse Evans as they corner at the top. The very man picks up an early advantage over Santa Rosa. Improving on the outside, the first reserve. Prairie Dancer, then She Wears It Well, and Jesse Evans next. Fat out is on the inside of Embittered in the white cap. They're tracked by Adamantly Chosen and High End the Tight Turns. Next on the inside, Tudor City. An institution in this race as they head for the second flight. Prairie Dancer takes over the running, followed by the very man Santa Rosa on the inside. If she wears it well and then embittered and fat out, and Jesse Evans adamantly chosen next, then Tudor City and higher. The tight turns being followed in by Top Bandit and then Anna Bonina. Next on the inside, my mate Mozzie and Bally Adam join top weight in between horses. They're followed towards the third flight by Glan. And then Vinar Dance in the green colored cap. Autumn evening next. And then Felix Deji and ridden away from flight number three, Celestial Horizon in the start cap. In the lead by a couple of lengths is Prairie Dancer from the very man Santa Rosa disputes third with She Wears It Well, then embittered a couple of lengths to Jesse Evans and Fat Out and Adamantly Chosen next with High and Tudor City and then the tight turns and Bally Adam, my mate Mozzie on the inside of Anna Benina and they're followed away from the fourth by Top Bandit. Heading for the halfway stage, Prairie Dancer gathered in by the very man who's now within a length, a length and a half back to Santa Rosa, handy in third on the inside if she wears it well, then Jesse Evans and Bitterton fat out and adamantly chose the Judas CD in higher. Bally Adam next with the tight turns, creeping into it, up towards mid-division is my mate Mozzie, and then Anna Benina and Glan and Top Bandit. Autumn Evening is next, and then Felix Deji, Vinar Danza and Celestial Horizon remains the back marker as they clear the flight seven furlongs from home where top bandit was a faller top bandit down there as they go towards the point at which they started and the leader prairie dancer is joined by the very man as they appear to race towards the next flight up the far side the second riderless horse is Felix Deji, brought down by Top Bandit. Celestial Horizons all but pulled up at the back. Prairie Dancer and the very man going hard at it, coming down the hill. Five in front of Santa Ross and then Jesse Evans. Fat out and adamantly chosen and bittered as next. These are followed by She Wears It Well, who's dropping back. Then Tudor City and High and Bally Adam heading down towards the second last. Nothing between the very man ridden along as Prairie Dancer, then Santa Ross closing. Then Jesse Evans, fat out, adamantly chosen, Tudor City. City higher, embittered next with Glon and Anna Benina. They're followed by Autumn Evening and Bally Adam is next. My mate Mozzie's dropped away, then Vinar Dance and the tide turns. They turn for home. One flight left to jump and it's Prairie Dancer chased into the straight by Jesse Evans. Tudor City is closing on the inside as they come round the turn for the final flight. And it's Jesse Evans coming to tackle Prairie Dancer. Closing in the centre is Tudor City. Glon from off the pace, then Santa Rosa, 150 yards left to go in the Guinness Galway hurdle and it's previous winner Tudor City such a fixture in this race he's gonna win it again Tudor City wins the Guinness Galway hurdle the second time from Jesse Evans and then Prairie Dancer Glon next followed in by Haya and Santa Rosa some consolation at the Galway festival for owner John Breslin well, trainer Tony Martin has pulled some rabbits out of his hat, but I think today beats all Tudor City winning his second Galway Hurl at the age of 10. Well done. Brilliant. Thanks, Frank. How hopeful are you coming here today? Um, oh, we were really hopeful of a good run. I'd be very disappointed if he wasn't in the four. He won very well in punches. He a lovely prep there in the Curra a month ago. And then uh, you could see him coming around the ring. He was just getting warm. And you could see him bubbling. and oh, You could see he was in rude health. Now He's in great form and whatever. It was going to be a real good run. If whether he was good or not, good enough or not, I wasn't too sure, but fortunately enough he was. Getting back to that bit of work in the car, was the bathroom scales out, uh, were you waiting <laughs> Yeah, that was in your day, because you were always cheating and fond of skiving for a couple of pounds, Fran. So I, I used to have to keep a check and you to see what you, had up, what you had up your sleeve. Remember all them nice horses you used to buy? <laughs> Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, yes, yes. What's for you won't go by, uh, you're always... <laughs>
picking out a few like that so I had to try and keep tabs on you. Yeah, no, we didn't have to get the bathroom scales out. The lads I have now are just straight enough to be afraid to do it on me. <laughs> and Tony, Liam McKenna having his first ride back after injury. Big chance for him today. You did a lot of faith in him. Yeah, he's a very good rider. He's very good on Golden Spear there in Leperstown in February. And every ride he's had from me, he's always done what we asked. And, you know, they mightn't have won, but he's always given them very, uh, very good rides and very capable fella. He definitely is, he stuck to the inside all the way and that was key to winning. Exactly, and then he had the patience to wait and not get there to, on a very fast race. And Oh, I thought he was excellent, let's say it would be a ride Ruby or yourself would be proud of. Indeed it would, and uh, for you, back in the big time, it's uh, a game that's up and down at times, but uh, back here at Galway, track you do so well, winner for John Breslin, Galway Hurl. Yeah, sure, that's what it's all about, days like today and big days, it'd be lovely to have a few nice good horses. And fortunately enough, we might get a few there now back again, I'd say we're, you know, we're short and quality horses there for the last few years and things weren't going great but hopefully now they're beginning to pick up a bit and hopefully it's onwards and upwards. Indeed it is, well done, delighted for you. Cheers Fran and thanks. Lee McKenna, you've won the Galway Harland Tudor City, first winner of the year, your first ride of the season, well done. First ride of the season, yeah, it uh, broke me collarbone in the Irish Nationals belt the last. Unlucky, it was going to run well, um, probably fifth or sixth but to get back to, to this, to, to ride the Galway Harland winners, I didn't think I'd do it when it was going well, never mind when I'm coming back from an injury. Pretty surreal. Yeah, it's, it hasn't sunk in. Um, obviously, it goes to Tony Martin and, and John Breslin for letting me ride the horse. And a big thanks to Wayne Middleton for, after I broke my collarbone, I went to him and he got my fitness up probably better than what it was before. Um, and obviously, for my girlfriend for sticking by me for the last <laughs> uh, three months has probably been tough, but uh, it's all worth it. Tony Martin. Galway, Tudor City, he's 10 years old, he's come here, he's won the race, what, three years ago? I didn't think he could do it, but uh, what was Tony telling you going out? He wanted me to be good and handy, um, <clears throat> to be second or third down the paint, probably just a little bit further back. Never travelled until he was coming to the last. I don't know whether it was when I set up and took a pull to get out. He got a second win and he went. Um, yeah, he's been around a long time, you won on him as well. I did, se seven years ago I think seven now, and on the Friday night, yeah. and uh, what he's done since is remarkable, but yeah. the way he acts around this track, that's key to him. It is, he, I, know, I suppose he knew where he was, he, he jumped the last in the way he went. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> you, you, you need to pinch yourself, I think. I will, yeah, I just don't want to wake up now. And, uh, yeah. and tell, tell us career-wise, do you ride out for Tony, you freelance away? I'm freelance, I'm riding out for Tony two days a week. Probably be more days now. Um, <laughs> Matthew Smith one day, Colin Murphy, I keep a day free to, to ride work and, and that, so yeah, that's me. Well, it can be very, very hard to get going when you return from injury, but you've done it in style today, well done. Yeah, thank you, cheers, thanks. Great scenes here in the winner's enclosure, joined now by winning owner John Breslin, well done. Fran, thank you very much, yeah, fantastic. Um, for 10 year olds, I just heard it was 1947 when the last 10 year old won the race, you know. But look at Tony Martin. He, he, he's after, I think he won the last four of the last seven, is it? Galway Hurdles. Well, you had three of them, so. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, but for a 10 year old, like when he, I, I was lucky enough to win him here, what, seven years ago, you, he won the Galway Hurdles. You, you won on a handicap, a mile handicap here as a three year old, yeah. by your by nose, by the way. I, might, I just want to remi <laughs> remind you of that. Um, Remember the photo finish was took a long time after. It did, it did. Yeah. Uh, never in any doubt. Though. I know, you told me that. I know that, Frank. <laughs> Thank you very much. But, uh, to come here today, he's won one Galway Hurl three years ago. It doesn't happen. Never happens. Like he, last year, he finished fifth. Um, bad break and just a lot of traffic problems and uh, finished fifth flying home. Flying home. And then when Brian Cooper rode him in punches and we decided... He won, like, we, you know, we didn't think he'd win now, but he, we knew he'd run well in it, but I said to Tony, that should get us enough pounds now to get into the Galway hurdle, so lock him up, and here we are, so. Unbelievable stuff. Listen, well done, Debbie, yourself. Great to see you again. Thanks, thanks a million. Thank Frank. you, Frank. Thank you.